Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Real quick, another warning sign. Watch people's eyes. It is the most bizarre thing. I don't know if it's demonic, but I kind of suspect it is. There are some people I have seen it with my own eyes. I have watched people. Their eyes change color. I'm not talking hazel eyes depending on the surroundings. No. I'm talking about someone who gets volatile anger rising up inside of them. And they are really getting ready to blow their stack at you and their eyes as they're revving up their engine of rage. Their eyes turn from a brown to a coal black. It is the strangest thing to see. Don't engage in an argument when a person's eyes change color. When their eyes change color, leave the conversation alone. Don't disagree with them. Don't defend yourself. Don't go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Don't go insult for insult. Shut your mouth and get a very safe distance. Slowly maneuver yourself so that you can find a way of escape in case they cannot slow their train down. Those are things you have to watch for. If they get in an argument with you and things start flying across the room, avoid arguments with them at all costs. Even if you feel like you had to lose an argument, lose it. It's better to lose an argument than a body part. See, a lot of you are naive. A person says they love you and they give you a smile and have sex with you and you think they're wonderful. There are people out there that are easily, they're manipulative when it comes to you, but they're easily manipulated by demons. And you're not aware of that because you're looking at them through rose-colored glasses. And you're thinking, well, they love me. They'll never harm me, huh? Don't you, be, don't you stake your life on that one, baby. Many a people have been murdered by their mothers, by their fathers, by their wives, by their husbands. No. Huh. The only one you put your trust in is God Almighty. I'm telling you. You be very careful how you walk around someone's anger. There are people, you it's like you're walking on eggshells. It's really not healthy. It's very sick. And they like having that kind of control because many people who are like that are undercover narcissists. They love control. They love intimidating. They love hurting. And they love shoving that knife in and twisting it, just giving that little extra so they can draw as much blood from your soul as possible. You watch people like that. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised at the things they're able to do. And then when the cops come around and you're laying there in a puddle of your own blood, they're crying like they don't know what could have happened. It was self-defense. And they can manipulate the cops into believing them too. So you got to be careful. But you watch those eyes. Those I'm telling you, the eyes are the window to the soul. You look at those eyeballs. And if you see them turn cold black, you find a quick excuse to get out of that conversation, get out of that whole arena, because you are not going to win at all. Oh, in the long run, you're going to lose if you persist on staying in that sick relationship.